أعزائي أهلا كيف الحال؟ Welcome to learn Arabic online with Lubna Dumayan. In our last lesson, I gave you all about the word all. But today, I will give you some of the word some. I want to be fair to all because of its generosity disagreeing with the stinginess of the word bad. Bad. What is this bad? Bad is a masculine singular noun meaning some, some of or a few, a few of, a little part or a portion of a whole. Bad is part of an idafa, the genitive construction. Together with the noun that follows it. Where bad is the first term, mudaf, and the following noun in the genitive, majruj, is the second term, mudaf ileh. I hope that you are able to memorize the Arabic terms. So, idafa, mudaf, mudaf ileh. So let's check some examples. بعض المعلومات Some information. Here, بعض comes with a single dhamma, one vowel, because it is the first term of the genitive construction. So no nunation, a single dhamma. المعلومات is in the genitive case with the sign of kasra. And this is a Sound feminine plural, معلومات. Alright, so بعضه here is followed by a definite plural noun. بعض الأشياء, some things. الأشياء is the plural of شيء. شيء, a thing. This is the broken plural of شيء. بعض الأشياء, in the genitive case. With the sign of kasra. Here, بعضو المالي. المال is a singular masculine noun. So بعضو may be followed by a plural noun, a singular noun. It doesn't matter. But definite. Some money. المال money. بعضو المالي. <coughs> قرأت بعض الكتاب. I read. Some of the book. Here, bad is translated as some of. You will have to judge because uh, it may depend of the construction of the sentence or a phrase in English. It's different than uh, Arabic. There is no one plus one equals two. You will have to judge. You, you will have to know the English grammar and the Arabic grammar. All right? So, قرأت بعض. Here, بعض is in the accusative case with the sign of Fatha because it is the object of the verb قرأ to read. I read some of the book and here it is followed by a singular, definite singular masculine noun, الكتاب. Alright. قرأت بعض الكتب. Here, it is followed by the plural noun of الكتاب, الكتب. You may translate قرأت بعض الكتب in two ways as I read some of the books or I read some books. Both of the translations are correct. أريد أن أسألك بعض الأسئلة أريد I want from the verb أراد أراد to want conjugated in the Present tense, first person singular. Ana uridu. I want to ask you that to, when you have two consecutive verbs, you may use an in between them. And conjugate the following verb, it means the second verb, in the imperfect subjunctive. The present tense in the subjunctive mood. The subjunctive mood where it ends with the fatha. The fatha, as'ala, this fatha. And since I am, I want to ask you, 
I have attached a suffix pronoun ka, referring to the second person singular masculine. Uridu an as'alaka. I want to ask you. بعض الأسئلة. Some questions. الأسئلة is the plural of سؤال. سؤال. A question. سؤال is a masculine noun. أسئلة is a feminine broken plural of سؤال. I want to ask you some questions. أريد أن أسألك بعض الأسئلة. إنني بحاجة إلى. All this cluster means I need. Sometimes when I translate, when I have two people, one is talking in a different uh, language and I am I'm listening and translate. When I translate just with a short sentence, the other person is not satisfied. Like if I'm hiding some information or I lose my credibility. Because sometimes you don't need... Uh, all these words to convey the message, just one single sentence is enough. But sometimes I have trouble with people that are not satisfied. Say, that's all what she or he said? Are you sure? I keep on lying. <laughs> well, إنني بحاجة إلى I need بعض الوقت هير بعض is in the genitive case. Why? Because it's preceded by ila. Ila is uh, a preposition that forces the word or the words coming after it to be in the genitive with the sign of kasra. Ba'd al waqti. Some time. Al waqt. The time. Alright? It is a singular masculine noun. So here both of them are in the genitive case and الوقت uh, is definite, 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 definite. قضيت بعض الأيام في البرازيل الصيف الماضي. قضيت is from the verb قضى to spend, spend time with broken alif in the end, shortened alif. ألف مقصورة قضى I spent قضيت It is conjugated in the first person singular in the past tense I spent Some days أيام is the plural of يوم 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 means a day It is a singular masculine noun أيام الأيام here the ya is stressed with the shadda أيام so I spent some days but here is the object of qada of the verb that's why it's in the accusative case with the fatha في البرازيل in Brazil last summer الصيف summer الماضي last last summer this is the adverb of time last summer أكلت بعض الطعام المكسيكي. I ate some Mexican food. I love Mexican food, by the way. أكلت I ate from the verb أكل. In the past, I ate بعض. بعض is the object of the verb أكل. بعض الطعام المكسيكي. مكسيكي is the modifying adjective of the second term of this إضافة. So it will match in Gender, number, and case. الطعام المكسيكي. I ate some Mexican food. بعض السنوات. Here, بعض السنوات is the subject of the verb. So it is in the nominative with one ضمة. بعض السنوات. سنوات is the plural of سنة. سنة means a year. سنة. سنوات is the plural of سنة. Some years are better. Afdalu is an elative adjective. Better. Afdalu min. Better than. Afdalu min. Ghayriha. Better than others. Ha is referring to senawet. Even if senawet is feminine plural, since it's non-human, 
its returner will be singular uh, feminine. Ha, alright? بعض السنوات أفضل من غيرها. Some years are better than others. When the word bad is followed by the verbal noun of the verb, each verb has a verbal noun, masdar. In a sentence, it is considered as a substitute of the adverb of emphasis. Adverb of emphasis. I will have a lesson about it. Al-maf'ul al-mutlaq. Not a fancy word. Just know that it exists, but don't focus on it right now. Al-maf'ul al-mutlaq. So, for example, Taraktu al-baba. Taraka. I knocked the door. Taraka. The verb taraka, to knock. The verbal noun of taraka, tark. There is a slight change of the, the middle vowel, tark. A knocking. So normally I would say taraktu al-baba, tarqan. Tarqan, if I add this, tarqan is the adverb of emphasis. Literally, literally means I knocked the door quite a knocking, so I knocked the door hard, all right? But I wanted to say just I knocked the door uh, very, uh, uh, a light knocking. So how would I say that? I will get rid of this and I will use bad. I will form an idafa construction with bad and followed by the uh, verbal noun of the verb, because we are emphasizing the verb. الطرقي. So it will be definite with the كسرة بعد الطرقي. I knocked the door uh, a light knocking lightly, slightly, whatever alright so you can do so the verb which precedes بعد will usually be masculine singular Regardless of the number of the noun or pronoun following bad. For example, Hadara Badul Kaumi il Mihrajan. Hadara Badul Kaum Badul Kaum and Kaum people. Some people came to the carnival. Al Mihrajan. So Hadara, even if the the subject is plural, Hadara is conjugated in the uh, third person singular masculine. So some people came to the carnival. Darasa ba'du tulabi or ba'duhum. If you want to substitute a tulab, third person plural masculine with whom the suffix pronoun, the attached suffix pronoun. If if you want to <coughs> avoid the repetition, if you already mentioned a tulab in your paragraph. And you want to avoid the repetition, you may write بعضهم instead of بعض الطلابي. To avoid the repetition. So, درس بعض الطلابي. Even if the subject is plural, درس to study is conjugated in the third person singular, masculine. العربية مدة طويلة. Some students studied Arabic for a long time. مدة طويلة. When بعض preceded the verb. The verb usually agrees with the number and the gender of the noun or pronoun following bad. So if we switch verb subject, subject verb, بعض الطلاب درسوا. Here we have to conjugate the following verb matching the number and the gender of the subject. بعض الطلاب درسوا. So whom? They. Uh, third person plural masculine darasu al arabiyata muddatan tawila but there is no such a thing in english all right okay sometimes you may encounter the case of noun noun apposition noun back to back or substitution namely al badal another don't panic another name I will, I will make a lesson for each. Al-Badal. 
is where a noun follows another noun. In our case here, the other noun is bad. With an attached suffix pronoun to clarify or define, define it. And it can be deleted without causing any change in meaning or grammaticality of the sentence. As opposed to doing so in an idafa phrase. Here. تهشم التمثال بعضه تهشم تهشم to shatter التمثال the statue so the stat the statue shattered but to make the person relax so don't panic it's okay we add we ask the help of بعض to um, Avoid the panic. So, some of it, some of it shattered. Not all the statues. So, we are fine. Don't worry. Just part of it. So, here is so helpful. Alright? To avoid any heart attack. So, here, Bad is the substituting noun. Atimthal is the substituted from noun. So who will match in number and case. So who Badu we have a dhamma like here because the subject is in the nominative case and the who we need the returner referring to the timthal. Timthal is a singular masculine noun. So we use who? Some of the statues shudder. If we get rid of who we will have a heart attack. Attack. So, تَهَشَّمَتْ timthal. The statue shattered. Alright? So, if you remove it, it's okay grammatically. Nothing would be changed. Let's check other usages. For example, لِنَفْهَمَ بَعْضَنَا بَعْضًا جَيِّدًا لِنَفْهَمَ Let's understand. We. We are talking about ourselves. لِنَفْهَمَ Let's understand. بَعْض بَعْض When you have two consecutive بَعْض and second one nonated, with the first one, we have to attach a uh, pronoun suffix referring to we. نَفْهَمْ Let's understand. Na. So, لِنَفْهَمْ بَعْضَنَا بَعْضًا جَيِّدًا Let's understand each other well. جَيِّدًا well. So, each other, you, when you have two consecutive but second one is nonated and uh, the returner, when the first one has a return, it means each other. لِنَفْهَمَ Let's understand each other well. لَعِبَ الْأَطْفَالُ بَعْضُهُمْ مَعَا بَعْضٍ The children played with each other. We have بَعْض with the returner مَعَا means with the preposition and بَعْض here nonated and in the genitive case because it has مَعَا. Alright? <coughs> so the children played with each other and لَعِبَ is conjugated in the third person singular masculine because the the... Subject comes after, so it doesn't affect the number or gender. أعرف بعضا من أفضل الباحثين في العالم. أعرف I know بعضا من بعضا من. Nunated بعض followed by من means some of. بعضا من أفضل الباحثين some of the best researchers. أفضل الباحثين These are in the genitive because it's preceded by min in the word. So when you have the nonated بعض with min, it means some of. أريد بعض القهوة I want some coffee. أريد بعض القهوة Here, السعادة شعور السعادة شعور Happiness is a feeling. ولكن But في بعض الأحيان This بعض الأحيان means Sometimes, بعض الأحيان. Here, since it's followed by, uh, it's preceded by fi, it will be the genitive case. 
بعض الأحيان. Sometimes a person. So happiness is a feeling, but sometimes a person. Do you agree with me? All right. So you need just some attention to understand the some word. Just some. And it was some of what I had to teach you today. Okay? If you like my videos, I would love to see your thumbs up to know that I am on the right track. A special thank you to Alberto Cabrera. I hope that I, pr I pronounced your name correctly. If not, I'm sorry. For his wonderful comments. Thank you. Until then, you miss me and you keep learning Arabic. إلى اللقاء يا أصدقاء.